Overall, currencies were happy to move around, though it all looked more volatile than it actually was, with the developed currencies all confined to ranges within a half a percent of Wednesday's opening levels. The pound, however, did manage to push up to a fresh post-EU referendum high, helped along by BOE Saunders after the central banker not only talked more rate hikes over time, but also added UK wage growth could push up to 3% this year. The euro, on the other hand, was lower on the day, some more dovish ECB speak, and S&P's warning not to expect an ECB hike until the second half of 2019 kept the euro way down on the day, though again setbacks were rather mild considering. Eurozone inflation came in in line, and Germany's Merkel was optimistic about a coalition government. One of the bigger events of the day was the Bank of Canada decision, which the market is still digesting after the central bank went ahead and delivered a hike as widely expected, but also accompanied the hike with a cautious outlook, which on net had the Canadian dollar rather flat to slightly lower into the European close. Away from FX, more pain and suffering in the world where the strategy of holding on for dear life is getting tested in a big way. Bitcoin has now dropped off by more than 50% in putting in a record high back in December. Over in the world of U.S. equity, stocks were comfortable consolidating recent declines, while on the commodities front, gold reversed course, this after a very nice run since mid-December. Looking ahead, key standouts on Thursday's calendar include Aussie employment, China retail sales, GDP and industrial production, and U.S. housing starts, building permits, initial jobless claims, and the Philly Fed. That's all for now.